What's up, guys? Kevin here. Welcome to the Friday live chat. Thank you guys all for tuning in. Sorry I'm a bit late, a bit of Whistler, uh, traffic here in Whistler. But yeah, stoked to be with you guys today. Going to try to answer all your snowboard questions. And yeah, just hit me up with anything about snowboarding. I know that a lot of you guys, it's uh, the middle of summer. So we're trying to enjoy the summer. But yeah, definitely hit me up with any, any questions for the upcoming season. Um, and then for everyone down in South America as well, uh, yeah, hit me up with, uh, uh, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, yeah, hit me up with any snowboard questions. Uh, you, I know you guys got some snow down there and going to be joining you guys in a few weeks down in New Zealand and Australia. So looking forward to that. Um, also guys, let me know where you guys are watching from. It'd be awesome to see where you guys are watching from. So we got 31 people, 35 people in the live stream, eight likes. And yeah, let's see who's on here and uh, answer some questions. Oh, we got some people making fun of me because I said traffic in Whistler. Yeah, there's some traffic. So there's only one highway into town. And because it's Friday and it's a long weekend, you've just got like a line, a line of cars uh, up from Vancouver. All right. Lucifer Morningstar says the leaves are falling already. Yeah, bring on, uh, bring on fall. Let's get, let's get some snow going. What's up, old man Shredder? Thanks for tuning in. What's up, Bruce Lafferty, Nicholas Wren? Thanks for watching from Ontario. Jeff Knox, uh, Nicholas Rodriguez, thanks for watching from Argentina. Shred1904 in London. Great Tiger 40 watching from Washington. Awesome. Alex wa watching from Wisconsin. Uh, Luke Grop uh, with the question, what is, a, what is a good snowboard for park slash freestyle? Uh, well, there's tons of good boards out there for park freestyle. The board I've been riding recently, the Capita Horoscope, it's, it's a pretty great one. Been really loving riding that. I think what makes a good park board is uh, the twin shape. So same, same way if you ride it uh, regular or switch. So that's important for uh, a good park board. Um, a good park board, I think, it depends on sort of the type of tricks you want to do, but something that's a bit softer means it's a bit more forgiving, easier to press, easier to butter. If those things help it be a good park board. And also, I think having, uh, so my park board, it's a flat camber, and then it's got some reverse camber towards the nose and tail. So that makes it more uh, catch-free if you're going for spins or uh, getting onto boxes or rails, makes it a bit more catch-free having some of that reverse camber out towards uh, the nose and tail. So those are some good things I think to look for in a park board. But yeah, a few good ones. The Battalion Global Warmer, I've been, I've written that a bit. The, uh, the Capita Horoscope, a few of the Capita boards in that line are great for park. Uh, also in the past, I've written the Burton Process, uh, really nice uh, uh, park board there too. Solomon Huck Knife, uh, great, Great park board. All those boards I've been riding for park in the past. And Dean Edwards says, Kev, we need Australia dates and locations. Drop those Aussie tour date lineups. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so I'm going to be in Melbourne for uh, kind of like not, not snowboarding, but just kind of hanging out in Melbourne from uh, October, September 1st until the 9th. And then we're going down to uh, near Parisher and going to be in Parisher from about the 10th until the 23rd. So if you're around Parisher, we're going to be there from September 10th to 23rd. So those are the, uh, those are the dates. And Karn Dowdell asks, uh, hi, what ski resort are you going to in New Zealand? So we're going to be riding uh, in Queenstown, New Zealand, and the resort is going to be uh, Cardrona. 
So gonna spend the majority, I think, of our time riding at Cardrona. I think they have the best park. That's also where our YouTube friend David Jones rides. So it will be great to ride with him. So yeah, Cardrona is the spot. Uh, v Flashing says, what's your opinion on becoming a snowboard instructor? Yeah, actually, I was thinking about this yesterday. Like now is the time of year where, you know, if you want to become a snowboard instructor, you can start planning it now. Uh, the way that I did it is I signed up for a snowboard course at the, at the beginning of the winter. Uh, back when I was like uh, 18 years old, I signed up to take a snowboard instructor course. And then I went to uh, uh, the mountain where I was taking the course and I talked to the ski school uh, director. And he told me that if I passed the course then I would have a job at their ski school teaching snowboarding. So yeah, that was the process. And, and so as winter came, got ready. I think I rode a few days probably practicing and then went, took the course, uh, luckily passed. Um, I actually passed on my birthday on December 30th was, uh, uh, when I was nine, when I turned 19, that's when I passed my level one snowboard instructor, and yeah, then they hired me at the resort where I took the course, and yeah, it was great. I couldn't believe that they're actually paying me to uh, teach snowboarding. So yeah, I definitely, I highly recommend it. It's uh, yeah, it's a great way to uh, earn some extra money, and yeah, it's it's a it's a really fun job. So can't say enough good things about. Teaching snowboarding, I had a blast doing it uh, for many years, and it's like it's a very re rewarding job, and yeah, I would definitely, definitely give it a try. Defnock says, "Hi, Kevin. What are your thoughts on Rome, on Rome and dinosaurs will die snowboards? They don't appear to be very popular." Um, yeah, I haven't really had a chance to ride them very much to be honest so i don't really have an opinion um they could be good boards i know that a lot of uh you know a lot of people like those boards but haven't had a chance to ride them myself and mitchell carson says any idea what percentage of camber is is in the ride twin pig um i don't know what the percentage of camber is in that board I've been, I've recently recently been looking at that board. I think that yeah, I think it's like it's it's like it's mainly camber. I know it's camber don, dominant, so I would say it's probably at least seventy five percent camber. But you can uh, I would say go check it out online, and they'll they'll have the specs on there. And life and sandboard says come to Brazil to try and sandboard. I want to snowboard, uh, but we don't have. Yeah, I guess in Brazil, there's not much snow down there, but you guys aren't too far from Argentina, Argentina and Chile, so you can head down there for some snowboarding. And Alex Kastner says, going to be my second year snowboarding. Beginner playlist helped me a lot last year. Awesome, that's great to hear. Glad it helped. Uh, TR Skate says, should I go to Woodward, Tahoe, or Copper for snowboarding? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that Copper is, I think that Copper is better, to be honest. I've never been to Woodward, Tahoe, but I think, I have a feeling that Copper is better. I don't know. Maybe they could have a similar summer program, but I think in the winter time for like, for the snowboarding in the winter, I feel like the, the Copper Mountain is probably better than uh, the out at Tahoe. Oh, Red's Cap says, happy BC, BC Day. Yeah, Red's, yeah, thanks, man. Happy BC Day to you, too. What's your plan for this weekend? Do you have uh, plans with the family to do something around Vancouver? And... Irritable Australian says, I've got money to buy my first rig. Should I focus most of my money on boots, bindings, or board? I would say, hmm, you know, I, th I think that in the end, the, 
the most important would be the boots, but you know, boots aren't that expensive. Bindings, you know, you can get a fairly cheap pair. Board, yeah, so if it's your first board, try to get an inexpensive board. So I don't know what it's, what it's gonna cost in Australian dollars, but in, you know, in Canada, in North America, Canada, US, you could get a good uh, beginner board for around uh, 350. So check out some of those, check out some snowboards that are under $400. Uh, for example, the, yeah, the Capital Horoscope, that's a good one. The Burton Process, uh, some of those boards, I don't know if the Burton Process is under four, but it's around 400. Uh, just a quick shout out to everyone that's watching in Europe. Thank you guys for staying up late. I know it's like one or two in the morning, depending on where you guys are. All right, just gonna scroll down to the latest question. And I think we've got the first uh, super chat. Awesome, so super chat from Old Man Shredder. Uh, 20 uh, Swedish dollars. <laughs> Thanks, old man. And old man Shredder says, how's the skateboarding going? Uh, the skateboarding has kind of been non-existent recently. I've just been, after the last trip down to Woodward, I've just been relaxing trying to take care of myself, uh, trying to be healthy and uh, just get some good recovery time going. So I haven't been doing too much skateboarding or any, anything where I'm taking like a risk of, of a possible injury. So I've just, I've just been chilling recently. And Justin Visey with the $2 uh, American. Thanks, Justin. And Justin says, hashtag taco fun. Awesome. Thanks so much, man. Thank you guys both for the support. Really appreciate it. And Old Man Shredder also says, uh, no worries, mate. Uh, mine hasn't been too active the last few weeks. Yeah, sometimes you just need a, you need a break. You need to chill out. I've been doing some uh, bike rides around Whistler recently. Been going to lakes, going swimming. Uh, been hanging out the house. Been working on some videos. Um, uh, one thing I've been working on, I can tell you guys about too, is I've been... Uh, Putting in, putting in some plans on getting some new Snowboard Pro Camp uh, merch. So I've been looking at designing some uh, beanies and some five panel hats. Also got a couple new shirt designs and a new sticker pack is in the, in the works. So all those things, uh, hopefully get the stickers by next week, uh, get some of the sh uh, new shirts out next week, and then also yeah, the hat, the beanie and the hat design, uh, hopefully we'll get those in the next week or two. Oh yeah, also got a snowboard pro camp uh, coach's jacket. So like a, a thin windbreaker type jacket that I've been uh, working on designing and we'll hopefully have, have you guys uh, some samples to show you guys soon. And a million pop off with the super chat as well. Thanks a million, you're the best man. And Emilian says, shout out to everyone daydreaming of snowboarding every single day. Hashtag taco fun. P.S. Skateboarding is tough for me as well. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, skateboarding can take it out of you, especially you have like a little fall in that concrete and it can set you back. But yeah, been daydreaming about snowboarding. I've been look, going back, watching some old snowboard videos uh, from, from my channel actually, but also from just on YouTube in general, watch some uh, Travis Rice, some Red Bull snowboard videos recently, and uh, watch some Pat Moore uh, Red Bull videos, and been checking out some other YouTubers, watching some of their videos. Actually, David Jones, is, he's putting up videos from New Zealand, so it's uh, good to be watching the videos live from New Zealand where they have snow. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been great. Uh, it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of good and bad. It's kind of fun to watch some of those videos but then they miss they make you miss snowboarding but yeah thanks for the support Amelia appreciate it uh Hayden uh Trezise with the super chat as well thanks Hayden uh there's no comment or question there but if uh if I see one from you I'll definitely definitely do my best to answer it and Theo Lick says when does the season start in Whistler so the season starts 
uh, like mid-November. And it kind of depends on the snowfall. Sometimes they'll open it up a week or possibly two weeks early. But typically it's about the second, it's either the second or third weekend of November. And White Tiger says, when's the next time you're going to Japan? I think this time we're going to go to Japan in January because the last time we were in Japan, it was like the end of February, beginning of March. And I feel like we missed like the sweet spot of the winter there in Japan. So we're going to head down a little bit early just so that we are more likely to get some of that fresh, fresh uh, Japao snow. Nick Marios, when are you going to New Zealand? So we're going to be leaving Vancouver August 17th. Arriving in Queenstown, uh, New Zealand on the South Island on the 19th and going to be in New Zealand from August 19th until the 31st. Awesome, guys. Great questions. And in motion SLB, Yannick, what's up, man? Asks or says, cheers for the stickers. They are quality. Also, just place an order for the long sleeve white tee. Awesome, man. Thanks for the support. Uh, glad those stickers made it out to you. I know I sent, uh, we had like 160 uh, envelopes all stacked up that we were sending out to everyone. Uh, I feel like it was kind of divided between North America and the rest of the world, international shipments. And it's my first time, and Jill's as well, sending out that many envelopes all around the world. So it's a, it was a little bit scary, uh, yeah, just sending, sending all those out, out hoping that they, would, that they would get to you guys. But I can see that, uh, yeah, you guys are slowly starting to send me messages over the last week or so saying that you got the stickers. So super happy you got them. Glad you're stoked. And yeah, if you guys want to, if you, if you take any photos of the stickers, definitely tag, tag me on Instagram. It would be awesome to see you guys, where you guys put your stickers on your board or helmet or, or wherever else on your, maybe at your car window or on your um, computer. But yeah, it'd be great if you uh, tag me on Instagram with your st uh, stickers and gonna have actually for the next sticker pack, do a few contests with Instagram too, to, so that can give away some free sticker packs to people. And White Tiger says, you should go to the Alps for a video. Uh, yeah, so we did go to the Alps last last uh, February. Was it February? Yeah, end of January, beginning of February in uh, the Alps for a few weeks. Uh, definitely go back, check out some of those videos, some of my favorites from last year over in, uh, over in Austria and France and Austria, France and, and Switzerland uh, with Yannick and Rav too. They were also there too. And it was like the best couple weeks of uh, snowboarding for sure. Mountains are so, so huge over in the Alps. And Wayne McKenzie with the super chat. Amazing. Thanks so much, Wayne. Uh, Canadian too, $6.99. And Wayne says, got my stickers this week, putting it on my truck this weekend. Awesome, Wayne. Yeah, glad you got your stickers, man. Uh, yeah, really appreciate the support. And Ty USA Winter Sports says, what's up, Kev? Uh, heading to New Zealand soon? Yeah, absolutely. A couple, couple more weeks. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to, in the meantime, get some of the, the off-season stuff. This is a great time for me to, to do some of the things I can't really have as much time to do in the winter uh, when I'm more busy with the videos. So yeah, trying to organize new stickers, uh, yeah, organize the beanies and the hats and the jackets. So that's been, that's been uh, what I've been focusing my time on. But yeah, really looking forward to getting back to some snow uh, the third week of August. Christopher Turk, are you going to the Southern Hemisphere this summer? Yep, couple couple weeks away. And in motion, SLV says the new rusty toothbrush teaser looks sick. It's on Shredbots. Yeah, I love watching the Shredbots uh, videos as well. I've been checking out some of those. Uh, they did one too. They recently came out with an edit from Japan that was really, really cool. And Gray Tiger 40 says, uh, so excited for winter. Been watching your videos 24 seven, man. Awesome. Thanks. Uh, thanks for helping me get through the summer. 
Oh man, well, thank you for the support. Thanks for watching. Uh, definitely leave me some comments or like uh, video requests too for the upcoming season. It would be great to get your feedback on the videos and like, yeah, things that we should uh, change or make uh, for the next season. And Cat30 says, hello, Snowboard Pro Camp fam. Uh, hi, Kevin. Are you guys getting lots of rain lately? Uh, no, actually, it's been, it's been like a heat wave here in Whistler. So we've had lots of sun, uh, too much sun, actually. But yesterday and today, we, it's cooled off quite a bit. So it's been, I don't know if you guys can tell from behind me, it's, it's kind of like a cool day today. Uh, nothing, nothing too crazy. But not much rain. It really hasn't rained at all recently. Where are you at, Cat30? Are you in uh, BC or are you, are you on the West Coast? And a million pop off says uh, the SPC jacket sounds sweet. Yeah, so the jacket, I'll give you guys like a kind of like a, a short description. It's going to be a coach's jacket. So that style uh, with uh, it's like going to be a cherry, excuse me, a cherry red jacket with a white liner. And then I'll get the uh, Snowboard Pro Camp logo uh, on the front and then a big one on the back. And yeah, I think it should be a pretty uh, a cool design, different. A lot of uh, the coaches' jackets uh, that I've been given have all been black. So I was thinking it would be cool to go with something a bit different and go with that, the red design. But I'm still waiting. They're going to ship me a sample, a sample jacket. So I got to sort of take a look at it and see if it kind of uh, is something that I'd be stoked to wear because that's, that's the plan is to get some – Get some stuff in the Snowboard Pro Camp lineup that I'd be excited to wear and then uh, make available to you guys as well. And Chris Langley says, will you ever go to Sierra at Tahoe? Uh, possibly, yeah. We were in Tahoe last this past year riding at, we went to, did a few days at North Star and uh, didn't get a lot of riding there to be honest, but would, would like to go back at some point. Adam Bad Rider says plus one for the coach's jacket. All right, I'll uh, maybe I'll save the announcement for the the stickers and the jacket when they're ready. I'll announce it here live first, so you guys get the first crack at it. And Bruce says, Kevin, have you ever ridden a flow rider? I've never ridden one. Is that like a a type of skateboard? Uh, and Sayat says, hey, hey, hi, this year we couldn't catch you at St. Anton by one week delay. I want to buy a new boot. Mine is too old and am mining to buy Vans versus and Burton rulers between them all mountain boots. I don't have much experience with the Vans, but the Burton rulers, yeah, they, they could be a, a good, good choice. I was actually looking at the boot. Burton rulers recently as well uh, just as an option I don't I don't think I'm gonna get them but uh, yeah the Burton rulers they're pretty uh, popular pretty solid boot uh, good for all mountain for sure a million pop-off says Japan is the dream yeah Japan is an incredible place for snowboarding it's got a cool snowboard culture there you can tell that a lot of the uh, Japanese there it's almost like 50 50 skiing snowboarding even maybe tilting a little bit even more towards snowboarding. It could be a slight edge for snowboarders. So it's a cool, it's a great vibe there. Great snow, great scenery. Uh, yeah, definitely. I want, I want to go back there every, every year if I can. And Asim says, hi from the UK. Just bought my first snowboard as a beginner. It's a Rosino Crypto rated intermediate to advanced just learn to link turns. Is this board going to be problematic for me? Um, no, it shouldn't be problematic. Uh, you just, if the board is rated for intermediate advanced, it just means that board has lots of potential. So you're good. You're going to be good. So just keep riding it. If you like it. Uh, yeah. The only thing, I don't know what the stiffness rating is on that, but if it's a really stiff board, then that can possibly lead to some issues. If you want to get into stuff like, um, butters and things, but I feel like the fact that it's rated intermediate and advanced, there's not going to be any disadvantages. It's just going to give you lots of uh, potential to, to grow your riding into the board. And Angie B says, I have a directional board now, but getting a twin 
Do you set up bindings equally on a twin so you can switch easy? What angle is recommended? That's an awesome question. I think you should set your bindings up twin if you're going to be riding a lot of switch. So try to, if you're planning on riding lots of switch, yeah, try to set them equally. So equal distance from the nose and tail. And uh, I like to set mine at negative 12 plus 12. So that's uh, like a pretty even duck stance. Uh, but it kind of depends on like everyone's got different uh, different way they like their, their uh, binding set up. So just do it the, that suits you the best. But I would give that a try first and then you can go a little bit more duck if you want to. So maybe 15 and negative 15. Um, yeah, give that a try too. See what's comfortable. And Emilian says, Kevin, uh, did you remember to send my stickers to France? instead of Bulgaria. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> if I messed up, I'll resend them. But uh, I don't know, I can't remember at this moment. I was like going through so many. But if I, if I sent them to the wrong place, I'll just, I'll send you out another pack. Thai USA Winter Sports, uh, fingers crossed less than 100 days we can snowboard again here in Cali. Awesome, yeah, counting down the days. So just over, just over three months away. Come play with Sid, says keep up the snow stoke, boys. Absolutely. White Tiger says I will go check them after this video. Yeah, check it out. What's up? What's up, Keto47? What's up, Mason Kirk? Uh, Wayne's already given me his jacket size, double XL jacket when ready. All right. Well, I know to, uh, to order at least one double XL. Oh, so Cat30 is watching from Alberta. She says it's been raining like crazy there. That's strange. Uh, Hayden's asking me one of uh, the most difficult questions to answer. Uh, from all the resorts you've been boarding, which is your favorite? Really tough, but the places I do want to go back to Japan, uh, <laughs> Europe, uh, and between those two, I don't know if I could pick, but yeah, Japan, Japan is pretty awesome. That could be my favorite. And Mason says, I'm just waiting for winter. I don't know what type of board to get. Could you help me? Uh, yeah, Mason, so just get, get a cheap board, get an inexpensive one. And if it's, well, if you're a beginner, check out, the, check out the Capital Horoscope. It's a pretty fun board. Red's Cap with the Super Chat. Awesome, thanks, Red's. Uh, $10 from... And Red says, support for Snowboard Pro Camp, hashtag BC Day Chipotle Fund with Chris. Hope you'll have time to Q&A with you. I ordered the team SPC and Board Archive logo shirt and stickers. I'll wear it when I travel uh, Vancouver, BC. Awesome, Reds. Thanks so much for the support, man. Uh, happy belated birthday to you as well. I think it was your birthday just a couple of Thursdays ago. So yeah, really stoked on, uh, on the support, man. And yeah, happy uh, happy BC day. I uh, hope you got hope you and your family are gonna have a great weekend here in out in BC. And Nick 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 asks, where is the best snowboarding in Quebec? Uh, I think the best place would be the only place that I've been to is uh, Mount Tremblant. So, and then the other one that's popular is um, Mount Saint Anne. So maybe those two. And Devin asks, do you ever go to Sunshine Village uh, in Banff? I've never been, but going to try to make it out there this season. And Benjamin wants to know, will you ever go to Kirkwood or Heavenly this winter? Uh, it's a possibility, no plans yet, but would love to get down to California again to ride some of those spots. Andre uh, Salteo says, hi, Kevin. 
What are your thoughts about bib pants and which brands do you like the most? I'm a huge fan of bib pants, absolutely love them. They're definitely, they're my favorites. I'm probably gonna continue to ride bib pants for at least the next couple of years. And my favorite, last season I rode Dekine, the Dekine Y-East pants. They're awesome, they're perfect. I was uh, really happy with them. Um, I'm also looking at check, uh, checking out the Volcom bib pants. I think Vol Volcom makes some really good outerwear as well. Uh, I'm looking at getting some Gore-Tex stuff, so a little bit extra waterproofness. And then this summer, I was actually riding um, ride bibs. And the reason I was riding uh, those ones is that they're really, really lightweight. So perfect for those uh, like spring, summer conditions with the hotter months. So. Yeah, absolutely love bibs. They're just like, they, they use feel so free as you're riding in them. Nothing around your waist, no belt, uh, no snow going up your back. And yeah, just really, lo I love the bibs. And Pete watching from New Jersey. What's up, Pete? Lucifer Morningstar says he loves his uh, Burton rulers. Uh, Mason Kirk wants to know, will you ever come to Schweitzer in Idaho? Probably not, <laughs> but do you guys have, you guys have good snowboarding there? Red's Cap says, uh, I've watched your vid in Japan. Love it, man. Love watching it. Um, yeah, so thanks. Thanks, Reds. Yeah, those uh, Japan vids, those are some of the the most fun to uh, to make last season. It was it was insane. And Sis Tech says, "Hey, I just got a snowboard from a thrift store, and it says K2 and says Zelopin. Do you have any info on it? Uh, I'm a beginner. I don't have any info on that board, but if you got it from a thrift store and you got it for a good price, then I think you're you're good to go." And Nick Nick wants to know, best no bad day board? I don't know which one is the best. I feel like you, it depends on your riding style. Yeah, that's, that's what's going to be the best. I haven't ridden the no bad day boards a ton. And Chapter Tech is watching from France. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for staying up. Uh, SizTech, where's the best snowboarding in California? I think the, I think the best is probably Mammoth. It's probably Mammoth Mountain. Uh, Lucifer Morningstar, who's hammering in the background? Yeah, they're building uh, something across the road. They've been working on it all day. <laughs> uh, White Tiger says, what's your favorite snowboard brand? Uh, I don't think I have a favorite snowboard brand. Um, I've, at the moment, I'm just, I'm having a good time like trying out all kinds of brands. So there's no one brand that I love the most. I'm trying to, trying to get around to all the different brands, test them out. I feel like each brand does something something good in their own way. Uh, Million pop off with another super chat. Thanks so much, Million. And Million says, uh, that's cool. I'll place another order. Oh, are you talking about the, uh, the stickers? Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe wait a bit. And uh, don't, you don't have to place an order. I'll send them out to you for free. And JNYC265 says, just bought my first board, 2017 Burton Clash. Awesome. Yeah, that's a great board for uh, your first board. Amazing. Way to go uh, pulling the trigger on that. And Great Tiger 40 any thoughts on the Battalion Omni or Quiver Squash? Want to get a POW board that will also allow me to ride groomers? So I don't always have to switch out. Yeah, that's a, that's a great sort of 
thing to look for as well. It's something I've been thinking about too. I've been looking at the Burton Deep Thinker as possibly that board for myself this year. But yeah, I rode the, uh, the quiver, the nitro quiver squash uh, one day this past year and it was, it was a lot of fun. It, yeah, it seemed like a great board that you can do. You can take it anywhere. I rode it through the trees, rode it through some powder and did some carving with it as well. And it was a really fun board. Uh, Battalion Omni, I haven't had the chance of riding that yet, but I feel like those Battalion boards, those are another great board for, uh, for doing that as well. So between the two, I don't know which one I would go for more, but those are, those are two good uh, choices there. And JNYC says, just waiting on my boots and bindings to get here. My helmet is already here. Awesome, nice. What helmet did you get? Uh, White Tiger says, what's your Instagram if you have one? So the Instagram is at Snowboard Pro Camp. Uh, so definitely, yeah, tag me if you guys get any stickers or if, if you have any photos or anything. It's, it's easy for me to follow you guys back as well if you tag me in something. Uh, Red's Cap says, I had checked the Volcom uh, Bib Gore-Tex. They're pretty expensive, but surely great. Yeah, some of them can be expensive. I feel like the uh, Volcom Gore-Tex is on is a little bit cheaper than other uh, other brands. Also, there's a like, different level of Gore-Tex as well. There's like 2L and 3L. Um, so if you go for the Decine and you get like the 2L, it's a bit cheaper. So those are some things to consider as well. Uh, Snowboard Life says, yo, Kevin, I got an awesome idea for you. Uh, start making new intros for special occasions. All right, yeah, that's a cool idea. Um, so like a new intro screen for for Christmas or for like opening day or holidays, is that what you mean? I can see that. I need to get like, uh, I need to make friends with a graphic designer. I'm not too good at, at doing those intro screens. Uh, Gabriel uh, Rager says, what is your favorite snowboard to ride? I think my favorite board to ride is my Nitro POW board. Uh, probably just because when I'm riding it, it's a powder day. So that's uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to ride through the powder. And Malcolm Long wants to know, when are you coming to Australia? So I'll be in Melbourne September 1st until the 9th, and then down at um, Ginderbine near Perisher uh, from the 10th until the 23rd. And Tigard Ness says, watching from Oklahoma, I just got my Arbor Westmark from Evo, planning a trip to Loveland in December. Oh, amazing. That's a great board. And yeah, Loveland, great resort. Good, uh, good choices there. And White Tiger is watching from Scotland. Very cool. What's up, Scotland? And JNYC, have you ever been to Stowe in Vermont? Never been, but we're considering doing a trip out to Vermont this uh, winter. So we'll keep you posted if we, if we make that trip. And Fernando says, have you ever tried a flow snowboards? No, never, never tried a, a flow snowboard. Uh, Danny says, I got all my friends to watch you. Uh, one of them is named Mike Latoris. He loves you. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks, Danny. Uh, shout out, Mike. Mike Latoris, uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for the love. Send it right back. Justin Vizy, is there going to be a Patreon today? Uh, yeah, so I'll do a Patreon at... Uh, what time will this be over? So this will be over at about 4.15, 3.15, 4.15. So I'll do the Patreon at like 4.45. Uh, and if any of you guys haven't checked out the Patreon yet, it's just a cool way to support the channel. It's $3 a month and then you get bonus content like uh, an extra live stream that we do right after this one. So another 30 minute live stream. And it's pretty cool. It's like a smaller group to uh, just to hang out to hang out and uh, just talk about snowboarding. 
answer all your questions. So yeah, we'll be on there after this live chat. Lucifer Morningstar says, Kevin, who is your favorite shred buddy? Uh, oh, there's too many. I don't want to say. There's too many. There's too many good shred buddies. And Oliver uh, Carell says, since you're a pro, can you ride Goofy and regular just as good? Uh, no, uh, Goofy is definitely still is. I'm I'm a better Goofy rider for sure. Uh, but when I ride switch and I'm riding regular, I can do I can do a pretty good job. Like I can do, you know, some some tricks from switch and some other things. But for sure, uh, my goofy side is my strength. Uh, Nick Nick says, trying to decide on a new aggressive board. What are your thoughts? Ooh, an aggressive board. Yeah, I've been checking out a few aggressive boards myself. Uh, one one board that's a slight slightly more aggressive than the board I have now, the Capita, the uh, the Capita DOA. It's a little bit more aggressive. It's a little bit more stiff. Uh, not too much more. And I was also looking at the Ride Helix, which is quite a bit more stiff. And uh, yeah, some of those stiffer boards they seem like they could be. Could be fun for those aggressive aggressive rides for charging down the mountain at high speeds, doing big jumps, stuff like that. Some a board that's more stable. But yeah, those are a couple I've been I've been I've been looking at. And Mason Kirk says, it's my second season, so not the best yet, uh, but getting better. Awesome. Yeah, just keep it, keep it up. The more you do it, the better you'll get for sure. And SysTech says, does it matter what kind of bindings you you get? Are they all mainly the same? Uh, no, bindings are, they can be pretty different. Uh, mostly just in the flex. And, the, uh, and yeah, the flex really transfers into, it's, it's very similar to the type of board. So softer bindings are going to be better for doing tricks and for, yeah, just more of that like freestyle oriented uh, style of riding where stiffer bindings will are are just better for riding at high speeds for carving because they transfer your movements uh, more accurately into the board and are just um, yeah going to be more stable and stiff through any kind of uh, choppy conditions. So yeah, you definitely they it does definitely uh, matter. And then I, I think as well, the stiffer the binding, the more expensive they get. So it also matters in price. Uh, Callum Yule says, hey, Kev, I'm moving back. Or sorry, I'm moving to Kicking Horse Mountain in a few months. Have you ever been there? And what should I expect? I'm coming all the way from Australia. I've never been to Kicking Horse, but what to expect? I don't really know what to expect. You're going to be in a small mountain town. Uh, expect to, I don't know if you have a place sorted out yet, but you know, I think my advice for people moving to a mountain town is, you know, if you don't get everything settled straight away, it's, it's okay. Take, be patient. If you don't get the perfect job right away, uh, just be patient and like get the, you know, just get settled, get a, get some kind of place, uh, get some kind of job. And then, you know, things just work itself out as you go through the season if you need to change places or change jobs and yeah, what else to expect? Um, yeah, you're in a small town, so you got to be a lot of people They get to uh, like a mountain town and then they end up partying too much, spending all their money or maybe acting like a uh, <laughs> acting a bit crazy in the town. Uh, so, yeah, when you're in a small town like that, you just, uh, yeah, keep your keep your stuff together. Don't uh, don't spend all your money. And also be safe on the mountain. The first few weeks, it's very tempting to like go all out. And uh, yeah, you want to kind of pace yourself from the start. So don't go all out from the beginning. Kind of pace yourself with your riding. Get used to the mountain. Uh, don't get hurt at the beginning. <laughs> don't get hurt, hurt the whole season. But yeah, stay safe. And yeah, just uh, ride it out. You're, you'll have a great season if you manage to keep your funds intact have a good place and yeah, get set up where you can snowboard 
many days a week. I think that's the perfect way to do it. And Red's Cap says, Kevin, I'm not sure. Is the lift ticket in Worcester also included if I ride the peak to peak and the, and the ride going to Glacier? Yeah, so if you get a lift ticket for Whistler, then everything's included. So the peak to peaks included. Uh, yeah, everything is included in one lift in one lift pass. Uh, Nub says, "What's a good way to be this good on YouTube?" YT is that YouTube? Uh, just practice, just doing it, just. You just got to do it. That's the only trick. Be consistent. Uh, make lots of videos. Be knowledgeable. Learn as much as you can about the topic. Uh, pick a topic that you want to make YouTube videos about that you're passionate about as well. And JNYC says, I'm going to buy the stickers you have. Definitely want to support the channel and rock them on the mountain. Awesome. Well, thanks for the support. So there's actually a link to stickers uh, just in the description below the video. And I think I have a few packs left from the last uh, shipment. So we did sell out, but there was like a bunch that I just had extra. And I've uh, put up a few extra packs that were left over. So yeah, there's a few more sticker packs left. And Red's Cap says, I'm waiting to... Uh, for Sandbox to hit me when they get their new stock. Uh, they ran out of size large. Oh, wow. Yeah, Sandbox, that's been my go-to helmet for a few years. TJ also rides Sandbox helmets. They're, they're super good. Uh, JNYC, and I got a burn helmet. Uh, would you recommend them? By the way, love these Q&As. Awesome. Well, yeah, thanks. I'm, I'm glad you like the Q&A. Um, yeah, I used to ride, uh, I've had a few burn helmets myself. The thing I liked about burns is they're really lightweight, simple design. Uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend them as well. Rob Gams, what's up, everyone? Tuned in late. I uh, can't stay for long uh, from Mount Hood and Portland, Oregon. Awesome, Rob. Well, thanks for tuning in for uh, a quick quick stop in, man. And my side, uh, my side's done. Morzine asks, Morzine 2019? Uh, so that's Morzine France. No plans on returning to France at the moment, but I'll keep you posted. And Lucian BLK asks for a first snowboard, directional or twin? It kind of depends on where you want to take your riding. Like what, what is motivating you about snowboarding? Is it you want to get into snowboarding because you also want to learn tricks? Or do you want to get into snowboarding just to ride the mountain and, and carve? I would say if you're, if you're somebody that wants to get into tricks, I would get my first board as, direction, uh, as a twin board because twin is, allows you to ride switch um, much easier. But if you want to get into snowboarding because you want to like race and ride fast and carve and, and just ride powder, then I would go for a directional board. And Red's Cap says, I have no idea yet with Patreon. I'll figure it out to support some of Pro Camp and Board Archive. Awesome. Thanks, Reds. Uh, yeah, so it's basically you go onto the website, patreon.com forward slash snowboard pro camp. And yeah, that's where that's where it's at. But yeah, if you do a Google search as well, you can find it. I think there's actually a link below this video too under support where there's a, a link link to the Patreon page. White Tiger says, what's your worst snowboarding injure, injury you've ever had? I would say the worst one's definitely dislocating my shoulder. It's really painful. Became a, uh, a nuisance because it kept like, 
uh, dislocating over and over again, and I had to have surgery on it eventually. So that was the worst one. That was a real, that was a real pain. And Corinne uh, Mortimer says, hi from Hemel Hempstead, UK. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Uh, missing, I missed the Hemel Snow Center. That was a lot of fun there. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Justin Vizey says, who is funnier, TJ or Chris? I might vote Chris, though I'm sure TJ has his moments. Now, nah, Chris, Chris is a, he's a comedian. He's, he's hilarious. Chris is like the funniest person I know, so he takes, he takes it. Uh, Noah says, have you ever considered doing a mountain bike video during the off season? Also, thanks for still making videos during the summer. Yeah, no problem. Well, thanks for continuing to watch. Um, I've considered making mountain bike videos, but the thing with snowboarding and mountain biking is those are both sports with a lot of risk involved. And I feel like I don't want to take the risk of, of mountain biking and possibly getting hurt because actually I think with mountain biking, you're even more likely to get injured. So I feel like I gotta, I gotta preserve myself for snowboarding. And Mr. Dread1234 says, cheers for the stickers. They are ace. Awesome. Thanks. I'm glad you like them. Glad they, glad they got to you. Gabriel M says, have you tried signal snowboards? Uh, not yet. I actually, I haven't seen them around too much. I watched some of their YouTube videos, the every third Thursday videos that they uh, used to make. I don't know if they still make them. They probably do, but uh, yeah, I haven't had a try, tr chance to ride signal boards yet. And Mason Kirk says, I watch your videos every night for like three hours, uh, wishing it was winter. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Mason. Thanks for watching, man. Yeah, isn't that funny how it can be summer and people, like when I was a kid, I used to always, I always couldn't wait for the summer. Now I, I can't wait for the winter. So it's funny how that can switch. And Red says, I agree with you, Justin. Uh, Kevin, when Chris will be joining you on your live vid. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll get Chris to, I'll call Chris up and get him to uh, jump in on one of these vids uh, sometime soon. And Rob Gam says he's ready to take out the Rosignol Sushi with the cartels. Awesome, man. Awesome setup. Winter Moose says, have you ever been to Whiteface Mountain? Uh, never been. Uh, Old Man Shredder says, uh, so frustrating to have stuff not working while editing. Something is wrong with the frame rate and with the height of my GoPro footage. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that, man. Oh, three to four hours of work and it won't render. Yeah, a few, sometimes I run into problems like that and it's because like I filmed at a really high frame rate. So that's something to consider. It's like if the GoPro is accidentally on like 120 frames per second, uh, then that's when my computer begins to struggle with the footage. Also, if I accidentally film in 4K, or even 2.7K. I feel like that's when um, my computer has problems. So whenever I film, I always, I think the max I usually do is uh, 1080 at 60. But yeah, sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's always uh, frustrating when you've got some of that video footage ready to go and the, uh, yeah, it's all messed up in the, in the editor. Uh, Nub Gaming, any tips for being a better YouTuber? I would say like the best way for myself, it's it's more about, you know, documenting uh, stuff instead of trying to create videos. So just documenting, um, yeah, your interest. So if it's gaming, just documenting uh, the whole process, uh, putting yourself out there, being yourself, and not really caring about what other people are going to think you know, definitely get feedback because it's great to learn from your audience.
But at the same time, don't be afraid of what people might think of you. Just, uh, just, just go do it and put yourself out there. Try to do it as, as many times per week as possible. And the more you do it, the better you'll get, the better your videos will get. And yeah, just do what you enjoy. Just gonna go over and check the super chats. I think there may be a new super chat. So Rui Mendez with the super chat. Oh, thanks man so much. R-U-I Rui, I think I'm saying that right. Mendez, thanks for the support. Awesome. And Cat30 says, I've been to Kicking Horse last year. I almost died there. Uh, excited for winter too. My entire family and I will be celebrating Christmas in Panorama. Awesome. That's amazing. I'd love to check out uh, Panorama as well. And Art Thomas says, how's Chris doing? Any chance of him coming back for this season? Uh, yeah, Chris is doing well. He's, yeah, he's still recovering, still trying to get back to it. But I think uh, he just needs to get the doctors okay before he can get back into snowboarding. Grit Media asks, are you hyped for Cardrona? Uh, yeah, pretty hyped. Can't wait to get down there. Uh, just trying to enjoy the last these last couple weeks of summer before heading down there. But yeah, really looking forward to it. It's going to be really, it's going to be different. And it's going to be an adventure. Yeah, really looking forward to it. And JNYC says he's bought a pack of stickers. Awesome. Thanks, man. White Tiger says, my worst injury is cutting my kneecap open on a rock when I fell at the Alps. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's scary. Maybe get some knee pads. That could help. Uh, Reds Cap says, hope I'll have a chance to meet you guys and have a picture with you, man. Absolutely. Uh, we'll definitely let you know. If you ever come up to Whistler to ride, uh, you know, message us. And yeah, it'd be great to meet up for a few laps or, or just to meet up to say hello. That'd be awesome for sure. Justin says, uh, see everyone on Patreon later on. Yeah, Justin, for sure, man. We'll see you on Patreon in, yeah, like 25, 30 minutes. And Great Tiger 40 says, any plans for Mount Hood next season? Uh, probably be there next summer, but I don't know about the winter. I don't think we'll be there this winter. And Snowboard Life asks, what is the best way to train for grabs with no trampoline near me? Um, I was actually thinking about this today too. Unfortunately, here in Whistler, uh, the bounce trampoline place closed. So... Yeah, no trampolines around Whistler at the moment uh, anymore as well. I think the best way to train your grabs is to actually just get really flexible. So instead of getting on the trampoline, just, uh, yes, do lots of stretching, maybe do, do lots of squats, and you can even strap your board on and then just practice like squatting and, and going for the different grabs. But yeah, flexibility, I think, is the biggest thing for, for getting good at grabs. And Adam says, what exercises do you do to help build stamina for snowboarding during the off season? Um, so the, probably the main one that I do here in Whistler is, is hiking. So doing lots of hikes um, in the surrounding mountains or just on trails. I do a bit of biking, but I find that biking isn't as enjoyable as like going for a hike. Um, what else do I do? You know, we, we I've still been doing a lot of snowboarding, even up to like just... Uh, two weeks ago was was snowboarding in Colorado, so it doesn't really end uh, for me. But yeah, I, th I feel like hiking is a great way to do it. And Lucifer says, Kevin, do you know why bounce closed? Yeah, I think there was something with the insurance and the laws in Canada around trampolines and insurance. I feel like they've recently changed the insurance laws, which made the price go up. 
And I, I don't think Bounce could uh, afford to absorb those extra insurance costs. Uh, Wayne wants to know, is there a snow force in Whistler? Uh, I don't think so. I'm not sure what that is. I've never heard of it in Whistler. And JNYC says, what, what was it like your first time ever snowboarding? So my first time ever snowboarding, I was at like a local uh, hill back near uh, Toronto where I grew up. And I can remember trying to just go straight into turning and sort of like sliding off into, into the woods or uh, into other people. Uh, I was like 14 or 15 years old. And it was a pretty, it was a difficult time. It took me, it was a lot of falling, a lot of pushing myself up. I didn't have any, there was no YouTube videos then. There was, I didn't have a lesson and I, my friends didn't know how to teach me either. So I was just uh, learning on my own. So it, it was like a pretty tough process, but I did eventually pick it up like, uh, I think like by the second end of the second or maybe the third day, I was linking my turns. So it took a it took a few days. Awesome guys! So I just want to give the everyone that did super chats a shout out. Rui Mendez, a million pop off, Reds cap, Hayden uh, Treezice, Wayne McKenzie, a million pop off, and Hayden Treezice again, and Justin Visey, and Old Man Shredder. Thank you guys all for the super chats. Really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you guys. Thanks everyone for tuning in. These Fridays are my, are my favorite day being able to talk to you guys. Uh, look out for the next super chat. will be on Monday with TJ. If you guys have any snowboard buying uh, questions, definitely hit them up on Monday. And ooh, a last minute super chat from my side. My side's done. Awesome. Really appreciate it. Appreciate the support. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Also, check out if you guys are interested in stickers. I think there's a few packs left. There's a link below. And also, guys, if you guys are buying any snowboard gear, check out some of the, the links below the videos. Um, it's just a, if you buy anything through those links, it's a way to help support the channel. We get a small commission when you guys buy anything. So another great way to help support. And Red's Calf with another last minute super chat as well. And Red says, support for the let's get that <laughs> let's get that snowboard pro camp jacket. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, that's gonna help with some of the costs of getting the uh the, the the samples made for the snowboard pro camp jacket. Thanks, Reg. Appreciate it. But yeah, keep an eye out. Some of that merch is gonna be coming over the next uh few weeks. Gonna have some new merch out for you guys. But yeah, thank you guys all for see you next time.